so yeah uh, this is the code forces two towers problem so what the problem statement is initially you will be giving two towers it consists of two blocks either it can be a red block or it can be a blue block so what you need to do you can transfer one block uh, to you can transfer one block from one tower to another tower right uh, such that uh, you need to consider that there is at least one block see you can perform only this operation if there are at least two blocks that means if there are at least two blocks in one tower then you can perform the shifting operation so that at least that each tower contains at least one block right so that is the first observation that you need to have see I'm, I'm taking the sample case one initially our tower one is this and our tower two is this so what we need to make we need to uh, shift our blocks from one tower to another tower such that there is no adjacent color right such there is no adjacent color uh, standing on the same block right so we need to we need to see here blue and blue are getting matched so we are we need to differentiate into these two towers such that no two blocks are consecutively having same color right so that is what we need to do now what we will do so you can transfer uh, from tower one to tower two or you can transfer from tower two to tower one right so what i will do is see first of all you just rotate this two towers in one in right direction and one in left direction like i need to have a clear observation then our tower one will becoming will becomes like this and our tower two will become like this right see this is what our tower one and tower two i have just rotated those in the in the reverse directions one is one in clockwise and another one in anti clockwise now what uh what operation you can make either you can you can shift this tower into this and uh, you can you can just simply uh, shift this blocks you can just simply shift how many uh, whatever the number of blocks that you required you can directly transfer to this tower or you can pick any number of uh, blocks from tower 2 and you can you can directly move it to tower one right so this is the operation that we can make uh, by ensuring such that there is at least one block in each in each tower right so what we will do see there is uh, a simple uh, that means you just take the whole string you just take the whole string from tower one that is br double b and take the river take the reverse of the string uh, tower 2 that will be our rpr now wherever the characters are getting match then you need to break the string at that point you need to break the string at that point so if you can uh, so if there is a single uh, single single position such that there are adjacent blocks are matching then you can break or otherwise if there are multiple positions you cannot break into two towers right you cannot break that into two towers like i will give you another case that is see here i'm i'm taking this sample case three that is uh that is rpr that is string one and you need to concat the reversal of the string two that is brbr right then you need to concat rprb now after concatting this you just simply observe prp so you just simply observe that there is only two blocks that are adjacent uh, adjacently matching so you just break you just break the whole string into two parts like this will be in our tower 1 and this will be in our tower 2 right so this is the simple observation i can show you another case uh, right so that is uh, the sample case 4 that is pr 
and brr and concat the reversal of the string 2 that is nothing but rbrp yeah rbrp so now if you concat this you can see you can see there are there are two positions that there are uh, adjacent elements are matching right so even if you may if you break this whole string into two parts like considering this as tower one and this as tower two still there are two adjacent elements are matching in the tower two even if you break it in uh, like this way there will be two characters uh, matching in the tower one so you just you just uh, concat the string uh, string one and the reversal of string two and count the number of adjacent uh, positions that are equal if that is lesser than or equal to one then uh, the answer is yes you can break it into two parts or otherwise you can't so i'll just quickly code that so what will be our parameters initially he will be giving you the lengths right so then you'll take the two strings that are s and t now what you need to do you just need to reverse the string t then just concat that string to the s now what you'll do you just take some count variable you just take some count variable now you run through the whole length i is less than m plus n minus 1 and it is see if any character any adjacent characters are matching then i increment down so if the number of adjacent characters are matching are lesser than or equal to 1 then we will print yes or otherwise we will print no so this is the simple solution so i'll just quickly have a look so let's just quickly run this off the reverse of t dot begin comma t dot end yeah uh, I should include this header file that is bits slash standard c plus bits dot h. Yeah, now we can just compile this. Yeah, you see the output is fine. So let's just quickly submit this off. Yeah. You can see it got accepted me as well so if you understand this just please 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 do make a like and subscribe